menu a menu is a link that is that helps you to navigate your website easily now these menus could be placed in the sidebars and the header and the footer as it suits you whichever so now we'll be going to appearance the menu Okay, like I explained to you earlier, I created f four pages so that I could actually use them to explain how to create a menu. So, in your menu, you could actually have different kinds of links. So, but first of all, the first thing you need to do is you need to create a name for your menu. You need to, so you go here and click create a new menu. So having created a new menu, you will give your menu a name. Whatever you do, always give your always name it and always save. It's highly essential. Always name and save. Anything you do, always update, always save. Because if you don't save, you won't see the changes you made. So let me name this header. So, I'll, I'll click create menu. So the title, so the the, the the title of the menu I'm creating now is header. Why I'm creating, why I'm selecting, why I'm using header is because I actually want it to show in my header. So, to add pages, you come to this left pane, and you select services, select all those, everything you want. To be to add these are the pages i created before that's why they are showing here you can see they are showing other pages if you've created posts you can check your posts you will see some you see them appear here then there's custom links custom links that is if you have a custom link like maybe you want a you want to read that you want a a, a, menu, a link to uh maybe another page or maybe another subdomain to a subdomain under your own domain you can use a custom link then categories also that you've used to create under your posts so here having done this then you click add to menu so you can see they've been added to my menu so now I want this to show on my header so I'm going to select main now to create a custom link that if I want to create a link that will now take me to a to um, is a page that is outside my website I can just come here and click custom menu and type in the link I want so let's assume I want to put um, Google. So just type google.com. Then the text that will be shown here will now be let's put Google. And you click add to menu. You see to add Google down here. You can see it has added it. So if you click on this, you can see the link being shown here. And you can see the name being shown then you can click if you click on home you can see home being shown here and you can see the link being shown here now i want to show you a trick now this trick is this you can have a menu and you and you might want 
the menu not to show not to not not to be not to be not to be directed to anywhere so what you do is you click disable link so the menu will show there but when it's being clicked nothing will happen it won't be taken to any page it won't direct to any page now why i'm showing you this is because you can have some menus now let me create um let me create another let me create another um, custom link and show you what a sub menu is let me name this search and i click add menu you can see this that's added search let me add one more let me see um let me you see okay google.com let me name this SEO. Click add to menu. So now I can actually I can actually make this search and SEO a sub menu under Google. That is when you when you put your cursor on Google, it will drop down a list of search and seo as it to drop down a list containing search and seo so what do i need to do all i need to do is just to click and drag this search and see what i'm doing you just click and drag it and move it to the right then you can you can see that it creates this uh, this square outlined with dashes yeah so so that tells you that they're not on the same level so it, there is now a sub menu under google so you do likewise for seo and you do this so that's it so you can confirm the links if they are entered google.com okay and confirm this to google.com then you can also then you can make this google you can disable the link so that so that when you click on this when you click on this google here it won't take you to the google site it won't do anything so it's just it's just like a housing yeah just making like a housing to contain the sub menus you really don't want it to lead to anywhere it's just you just want to make it announcing to make everything collective so that's why I selected this disable link. So let me undo this. Then you can rearrange your menus also, your links. You can rearrange them. Let me make on um, the first one. Then about us the second one. Then services can be the next. Then let me make Google the next one. Okay. Then contact us. I like it this way. It should be the last. Then when you're done, then you click save. Okay, so my menu has now been saved. The menu I created has now been saved. So what am I going to do next? Next thing is I'm going to go to my page and refresh it to see how my menu is going to appear you can see now you can see here that i have the home about us services google and contact us now you can see what i told you on the google you can see google i clicked on google and it brought down a sub main that is a list you can see the search and the SEO. Now let me try to click on Google. Let me see if anything is going to happen. You can see it's not leading me anywhere. It's not doing anything. That's because I disabled the link. But now let me click on services. You see it will take me to the services page. You can see so we are in the services page now. So that's how to create a menu 
a sub menu and to disable link links and also to even create custom links to lead to pages that are outside your website or even if it's within your website you could also do that also you can also lead you can also create links to lead to some specific pages on your website so that is that